Good evening, guys. It's Doc Kyle. And tonight, we're gonna talk about your hemoglobinopathies and your thalassemias. No? So, your hemoglobinopathies are qualitative defects in your hemoglobin. No? So, uh, in your globin portion of your hemoglobin. Now, remember that your globin portion is a protein and it is made up of amino acids. No? And these amino acids, they are the, the order and what type of amino acid is inserted to that protein um, protein structure no that polypeptide is dictated by your bases no your nucleotide bases no so there must be a code no so we met methionine the amino acid methionine is due to the code uh, the codon of AUG no so kato uracil guanine no um adenine uracil and guanine no so we met in august it's also known as your start codon no? so what happens um, if there is an alteration in the codon, no, a base, vernucleotide, there might be an alteration. There might be a different amino acid to be inserted in your polypeptide. No? So that's one of the more co uh, one of the more common among ways of how you get hem hemoglobinopathies, no. While your thalassemias, they are a quantitative, no. It depends. Um, it de uh, the the presence of the genes to produce your hemoglobin you know, are dictated on how many the genes are present, no? So, oh, um, God being a very good engineer, no? No, he's the best engineer. Being the best engineer, he always had backups, no? So, if ever you lose all of those genes or lose majority of those genes, what will happen? That will translate to a decreased production of your hemoglobin. That's why thalassemias is a quantitative defect of your hemoglobin. So let's go. Let's start with hemo hemoglobinopathies. No? So it's a qualitative defect of hemoglobin. There is alteration in the biochemical structure of the hemoglobin molecule. Not necessarily the hemoglobin molecule as a whole, no? but just the globin portion. No? So remember your hemoglobin, um, like I mentioned in the other uh, other video when you th look at hemoglobin think of three three na components no number one is a globin no if there is any alteration or defect in forming your um, globin portion of your hemoglobin of course there's gonna be an overall decrease in your hemoglobin number two is your iron no uh, your iron is incorporated to your protoporphyrin 9 to form heme no so if there is any decrease in your iron no or there is no um, transport or incorporation of iron to him, there's gonna be an overall decrease in your hemoglobin. Same with your protoporphyrin. Now, if it doesn't mature to protoporphyrin 9, um, then it's just gonna, there are lack of enzymes to mature it into protoporphyrin 9. Of course, there's gonna be a build up of your immature protoporphyrins. And there's also gonna be a decrease in your overall hemoglobin concentration. No? So remember, um, your globin portion is just the protein's uh, skeleton. No? It's just a structural, it maintains the structural integrity or the shape of your hemoglobin because him, no, your iron plus protoporphyrin 9 is where the party is at. No, It is the one that binds your oxygen. No, So, kato. but they cannot live without one another. So, hemoglobinopathies are genetic disorders of globin G that produce structurally abnormal hemoglobins with altered amino acid sequences. Like I said earlier, there might be a kanang swap, swap, no? So, point mutation is the most common type of genetic mutation. So, um, the point mutation is what uh, what my example is ganiya, no? There is a change in the base leading to a change. There might be Sometimes there is what we call nonsense changes, no? There might be changes, but it doesn't change anything. Missense changes, no? So, lahit na iyahang meaning. So, point mutation, in the case of your hemoglobinopathies, no? There is a uh, swapping no? of your base leading to a different type of amino acid being produced, no? So, hemoglobin S, S for being sickle, no, it's the most sickle ba ka nang mamatay sickle ka o oh, balon sa bisaya sa sickle baka tong ginagamit sa ninja gani no night chain so the sickle no most common it's the most common hemog 
hemoglobinopathy resulting from a substitution of valine for glutamic acid at position 6 of the beta globin chain. No? So it primarily affects the African descent. So remember valine for glutamic acid. No? So instead na glutamic acid siya dapat, napulihan siya o valine at position 6 of your hemoglobin. So so hemoglobin S polymerizes in red blood cells because of in its abnormal interaction with adjacent tetramers. No? So what happens in your your hemoglobin S? Normally, if there is lots of oxygen, no, goods lang tang oxygen, wala lang may tabo, no? It carries its function well. But when the body is um the body or the red blood cell is placed in a situation that there is a decreased oxygen saturation, what will happen is your hemoglobin S will tend to clump together. No? And this clumping will form somewhat of a straight tower. Kumbaga, no? That's why it forms into a sickle. Magsickle shape siya because it clumps together hemoglobin. Ideally, your hemoglobin should just be free-flowing inside your um, RBC. No, they're just chilling there. They're just floating in the intracytoplasmic fluid. No, but what happens with your hemoglobin S? No, your sickle, um, sickle na hemoglobin. When there is low oxygen, they bind together. No, which is not cool. No, because as we all know, as what I have mentioned um, in your history histology and maybe in histopat your rbc's must be um conforming no they must be conforming to the different calibers of your blood vessels no so what happens if they become this rigid stick like um stick like uh, form i know it's not stick like crescent like form no drepanocytes na tawag na drepano or like sickle cells drepano um what will happen? So we're gonna talk about that later now. So there are four copies of the alpha globin gene and two copies of the beta globin. If one globin remember um this occurs in your beta globin, diba? At position six of your beta globin na transfer imuhang glutamic acid into valine. No? So if one beta globin chain is affect is affected, then it is called heterozygous. No? So if it's heterozygous, it's of course much weaker. Okay, gamay lang na pumakay back up na other na other globin chain. No, but if it's both, then it's gonna be homozygous. So if you have one half, no, one half of your beta globin chain is affected, then you have a condition that that uh, that we call your um, sickle cell trait, no, trait lang siya. But if you have both your homozygous, then you have the disease, sickle cell disease, no. So in homozygous hemoglobin SS, no, that's why it's called SS because duha siya ka, duha ka globin chains ang affected, no, with SS. P polymerization of hemoglobin may result in severe episodic conditions. However, factors other than hemoglobin polymerization may also account for the vasoocclusive episodes in sickle cell patients, no. So, what will happen here? break so so what will happen okay so the highest frequency of sickle cell is found in sub-saharan africa no so we will find out if there is a correlation why it's more common there of course it's genetic no so mostly so mga ginikanan pa na nilagikan so the mutation occurs in nucleotide 17 where thymine replaces adenine, resulting in a change in codon 6. There is a substitution of valine. So the code for valine, no? the codon for valine is GTG instead of GAG. No? So glutamic acid. No? So remember your codons in your cytogenetics at amino acid position 6. So the main culprit, if I'm going to ask you, what is the main culprit? of your sickle cell anemia, you're not gonna tell me that it's the valine to uh, valine from uh, to I uh, 
valintog glutamic acid, you're gonna tell me that the main culprit is the thymine to adenine, no? So, kato. Kato. So, when the oxygenated hemoglobin, that's the point mutation. That's why it's called point mutation because there's just a single point, no? The point is the thymine to adenine, no? So, when the, oxygen the oxygenated hemoglobin S will polymerize to form tactoids, will which will lead to cycling of the RBC, my sickle cell na siya. Due to this change in morphology, occlusions occur in the blood vessels, leading to numerous conditions. Like I said earlier, your RBCs, check over, look over here, no? Oh, sorry. Tawin ni sila, oh, goods lang kayo, no? Mapilo-pilo lang siya na RBC. But when it becomes your um, sickle cells, no? Magtapok na sila, more na sila stick gani. No? Nakatesting na ko mag-cut sa imong hair. No? Uh, putol sa imong buhok ba? Di ba? Pag maabot na sila sa sink, tapok-tapok na na sila, no? So, para sa mga tao makakita, example, na pamunjod mo sa balay with your family, no? Pag na may mga kuyog sa balay na maglagas yung dugbok, makita ninyo sa inyuhang sink na doon yung mga unsa diha, ano na mo yung mga kana, sickle cell, <laughs> nag-sickle cell na na inyuhang drain, no? So, that's what happens, no? That's what you call your vaso-occlusive na mga condition, no? So, that's the hallmark of your sickle cell disease, no? Your vaso-occlusive crisis, no? So, it accounts for the most hospital and emergency department visits, no? May tabo mong good, Anna. Um, uh, when there is vaso-occlusive, look over here. When there is a vaso-occlusive crisis, what happens? The surrounding area, no? Especially in your lower extremities, no? Because mga gagmay naman ang mga blood vessels, diha, And then they tend to pull blood because of, because of gravity, what will happen, there is poor oxygenation in the area. When there is poor oxygenation, there will, of course, eventually there will be necrosis. That's why there's gonna be lots of ulcers in patients with sickle cell disease na uncontrolled, no? But the the problem with, ano, with um, sickle cell disease is um, it can be triggered, no? Like I said earlier, it, your sickling only occurs when there is decreased oxygen tension within the red blood cell, no? So if you are having acidosis, hypoxia, dehydration, infection, fever, or exposure to extreme cold, this will decrease your blood blood ano, O2 to saturation, leading to a sickling phenomenon. No, so painful episodes manifest often in the bones, no? Because the bones, your haversian canal, your haversian system, mga gagmay ba na sila mga blood vessels. No, your lungs, gagmay po ng blood vessels in mong lungs, liver, spleen, na kanipong penis, no, eyes, nervous system, and urinary tract, sometimes mag-vaso-occlusive na mga problem na diha, mag-ischemia na siya. Pag mag-plug mag na na sila, mag-plug na na sila sa mga blood vessels, more or less, this type of damage will eventually occur in that area. No, so la input, no, so the, it's really hard, no, so... Patients with sickle cell disease or sickle cell trait must avoid kanang conditions that will lead them to a lower oxygen saturation no? or lower oxygen tension within the RBC because it might trigger sickling. No? But there is um, a, a silver lining. No? Hemoglobin S has protective action against malarial infections. No? So that's why, that's why maybe no, it can be seen in the sub-Saharan Africa because um, malaria is endemic there, and maybe the body evolved to counter the malarial parasite. No, so pahit pud no, dili lagi ka magka malaria, magka sickle cell disease kung pud ka. No? So these are the clinical features of your sickle cell disease. Okay. Kanisha na table, guapa ni na table, no? So, we shall start here. No? So, ay, din hindi, ay. Oh, sige, mag-start na lang din, eh. So, if you have RBC dehydration, wakainom-inom tubig, acidotic ka, no? Then, 
sikling ka. Sa RBC will undergo sikling. Pag nakai acidosis, magsikling na put ka. Pag nakai hypoxia, magsikling na put ka. The problem with once is once the sickling starts, no? It's uh it's a very vicious cycle, no? So the sickling eventually makes multiple vascular obstructions, no? And these vascular obstructions also decrease the blood flow, inherently stimulating more acidosis. So it's a vicious cycle. Tuyok tuyok lang na siya, no? And then vascular obstruction, ano no? Acidosis. And then once you undergo acidosis, mag RBC dehydration na pud ka, balik na pud ka sa imong sikling, no? And then this delayed blood flow, no, due to sikling lagi kay nag-block na siya ni bara na siya ba, will also stimulate I will also lead to hypoxia, no? So it never ends. So kani siya, of course, na man siya yung mga mahitabo pud lain. So it will happen, there will be von Willebrand factor release, then RBC addition to the endothelium. So, not necessarily natungod sa, sa sickling na kay mga clot formation mahitabo. This is also due to other factors like your von Willebrand factor release. No? So, kato, pwede po ka mag vascular obstruction gihapon ka. No? So, kato ba? Dagani siya actually. It's, so, the end of your sickle cell disease, no? is you will have vascular obstruction. It may be initiated by the sickling, no? but it is not the only one factor for it. No? So, kani siya? These are your sickle cells. They look like trypanosomes. No? So, sickle cells, target cells, normal platelets. So, the most common screening test for your sickle cell disease is your hemoglobin solubility test no so mahitabo man gud pag deoxygenated ang excuse me imong hemoglobin s it is not soluble di ba kay magform kani siya og mga polymers di ba mga stick stick so what will happen no your normal hemoglobin is soluble regardless if na lyse na siya na lies na, na liberate na siya from your R, RBC or not no so what will happen in this test so blood is added to a buffer salt solution containing a reducing agent such as your sodium hydrosulfite or dithionite no this will reduce meaning it will decrease oxygen no then it will stimulate sickling no if you're positive for the hemoglobin s gene after it will add a detergent based lysing agent saponin no so kaning saponin bu ako na yatong rbc membrane liberating the sickle cells okay if if you're not gonna lyse it what will happen is the sickled na mga rbc will just fall down no so after um Saponin re, 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 dissolves the membrane lipids, causing the release of hemoglobin from the RBCs. And the dithionite reduces iron from the ferrous to the ferric oxidation state, no? So, the ferric iron is unable to bind oxygen. No? So, <laughs> shortcut lang din kahit akong explanation ganiya. So, ang hemong sa dithionite, it converts sa niya, your ferrous. Your ferrous is your usable na hemoglobin, ha? Your ferric is not usable. So once na himo na siyang ferric, it won't bind to your oxygen, thereby decrease na imuhang oxygen tension sa imong hemoglobin, leading to sickling, no? Converting hemoglobin to the deoxygenated form, deoxygenated hemoglobin S polymerizes in solution which renders it turbid. No, so if you're positive for your hemoglobin solubility test, no? So kani positive siya, turbid din siya. And then your negative is this one. You can see the lines in the back. Aight. So, kanina po siya. Kalapada ni. Kana uzumaki klana siya. So, this is your electrophoresis. So, what is your electrophoresis? No, I hope this has been mentioned to you before. So, I'm gonna give you a very short, very short na ano, na 
explanation. Remember, your proteins are what we call zwitter ions, meaning they have two charges. Your charge is dependent on the associated amino acid that um, that that uh, forms your protein. No? And another factor is the solution that they're in, whether acidic or alkaline na solution. They will shift their charge, positive or negative, based on those features. No. So in him, um, in electrophoresis, no. So if example, protein A, no, is inherently positive, no. Tapos, and then, be tapos ang solution niya kay either acid or alkali, no? So, nahi mo siyang positive. And then, it will bind, no? It will be attracted to a negative charge, no? So, it will migrate to a ne negative charge, no? So, kato. If protein B is negative, then it will migrate to a negative charge. No? So, um, this is what we call a cathode, no? because it attracts the positive, no? but it has a negative charge and an anode. No? Don't quote me on this, okay? Basing mali ko, ano review lang po na ako. So, gi check na ko, no? So, tama dahi ko. So, depending on the inherent charge of the protein, no, it will also be altered depende sa imuhang pH, no? So, here we have two types of pH, no? We have cellulose acetate and citrate agar, no? So, tama lagi ko. So, positive ang charge sa imuhang protein, then it will go to the cathode, with, which has a negative charge, and then negative charged protein will go to the anode which ha will have a positive charge so here if we have a cellulose acetate na na, na electrophoresis no meaning ihang solution kay onsa kay alkaline what will happen <laughs> what will happen is to the positive side the fastest one, no, ang atong endpoint man kay ang positive. The fastest one to migrate to normal, no, or the mo more ahead is your normal na hemoglobin, which is your hemoglobin A, A, no, no. So next is your, so normal, and then your sickle trait, no, since sickle trait lang man siya, meaning half lang sa iya hang beta globin ang HBS, no, half half lang. So meaning na ay siya ay sickle na siya ay gihapon ug naa na siya ay S. No? Kani ang hemoglobin S. No. So this is how you're gonna look at these are the results na no? individual results na sila ha? based sa on sa based sa imong condition. So in your ano in your SC disease no you have your hemoglobin S, no? And then your hemoglobin C over here. So, basta cellulose acetate, duha lang man dyan na, citrate o cellulose ni mo na electrophoresis, no? 
remember, always remember that the fastest one is your normal, your A1, you no, know, your adult. And then F will be your next, your fetal. The next is your sickle cell. And then next will be your C and your A2. So a good mnemonic for that is your AFSA no? or a fat Santa Claus. Klaus, si Mane, sorry, CDI. Si a fat Santa Claus. No, so that's my mnemonic since the prehistoric days of my college. No. Next, we're gonna talk about your citrate agar na electrophoresis. No. So, if cellulose ang acetate, so alkaline. If we're gonna make the pH alkaline na pod, what will happen? The fastest to move will be your C. Hemoglobin C, and then the fastest to move will be a uh, second will be your hemoglobin S and hemoglobin A, ang slowest, and then F. No, so what is this zero? What is this zero? That's where you put the, that's where you put the specimen, and then they will migrate, lagi de ba? They will migrate to different, to the respective charges. No based on the effect of the pH sa ilaha. I know it's very complicated. I'm trying my best to to explain it. No? So, kato. so here, sa imong cellulose acetate, zero is where you put your your specimen. No? So, walay nag-go to the other side. Your citrate agar, kato lang sila sa tunga ang imuhang zero because different ang migration patterns sa imuhang mga amino acids based on this pH based on an acidic pH. So let's move on. No, the most clinically significant hemoglobinopathies are your SS, SC, HBS, thalassemia, HBSS. No, HBSS the most severe disease. You know? So individuals will sick with sickle cell trait are clinically asymptomatic. Like I said earlier, chill lang na sila because they have this backup other beta globulin. No, but Kato, they can manifest under extreme exertion. Kanang mudagan kag mga 300 miles, no? Kanang himuon yung mga workout ni Saitama everyday, no? 100 push up, 100 sit up, 100 lunges, 100 squats, no? 10 kilometers run. Bato ni muna, pwede ka ma-activate na yung sickle cell trait. Sickle cell anemia, no? Is normocytic and normochromic. Kung tanawon lang ni muna siya based sa isa ka CBC, no? Kay motukar lang man na iyahang hemolysis, no? Magtukar lang man yung vaso-occlusive pag ma-decrease na iyahang unsa, pag ma-decrease yung oxygen tension. So, characterized by a single band in S position on hemoglobin erythropoiesis. The difference between um, SS and SC in electrophoresis is, be, is that your SC has two bands, one in the S portion and one in the A portion, no? Your SS, it has only, it has two bands, Jude. Double. Okay? Two. Two. Na, duha man siya ka beta globulin na. Sa yung S. S yung SS. That's your SS over here. So, a single S peak on high performance liquid chromatography and a positive hemoglobin solubility test. The median life expectancy of patients with SCD is greater than 50 years. Of course, so yung mong pabuhato na na, pahigdaon lang yung muna sila. No? Kung na kayo si Kalsal disease, maghigda lang na sila. No? Kung niya mag-Netflix, mag no? So, ilahang mga work dapat low impact, no? So, dili na muna sila ipahimong cargador, di na muna sila ipahimong ka ng, ka ng construction worker. It's not because kayo gina-discriminate ni mo sila. Tungon kayo mga matay, munggo na sila, mga lata na ilahang mga kuko, mga lata na ilahang mga paa. No? Kung ataki ko na sila, luoy pud. So, hemoglobin C and hemoglobin E are the most common the most common hem hemoglobinopathies after S and cause mild hemolysis in a homozygous state. No? Um, hemoglobin C is of course primarily found in African descent. On peripheral blood films with ano, hemoglobin C, C hexagonal crystals may be seen without um, apparent RBC membrane support um, surrounding them. No? So, 
So, hemo- this happens, nablahin na po ding hemoglobin C, no? It occurs when lysine replaces glutamic acid in the position 6 of the beta chain. Same lang yapon, position 6 na, but instead of valine, it's now lysine, no? So, this is your hemoglobin C crystal, no? Muna siya. So, instead of forming sickle cells, it just makes this, like, tambok na hotdog, no? Masya ka ng tender juicy ganit na cocktail. So, unlike hemoglobin S, the structure of hemoglobin C polymers differ and they form under high oxygen tension. Baliktad na siya. Pag sobrang kag oxygen, usa siya magpinuang. No? So, dapat ani mga naga hemoglobin C, ka ng pakapuyo ni mo, sige, dili, joke lang. No? Dili ni mo na si pakapuyo, sige. No? So, homozygous hemoglobin C disease manifests milder cases compared to SED. Mild splenomegaly and mild hemolysis may be present. No? Hemo, hemoglobin SC is the most common compound in a he heterozygous syndrome that results in a structural defect in the hemoglobin molecule, molecule in which different amino acid substitution. So, nagsabay sila, no? Ang isa ka amino acid, ka isa ka globin, beta globin chain, kay valine instead of glutamic acid, ang isa kay lysine instead of <laughs> globin pagkamalas, no? So, Hemoglobin SC has Washington Monument slash open book like crystals na sila Mag nag-combine, mag na imuhang sickle cell tapos tong hemoglobin na si no, lain siya tanahon ba? Basta mauna siya ha. So, it is milder form of SCD but can be severe in some cases. So, hemoglobin M no, is caused by a variety of mutations in the AB and gamma globulin all all of which result in the production of meth hemoglobin. No? So, meth hemoglobin, no? Mauna siya. Brown na yung dugo, no? And then, you have brown blood, and then you are hypoxic, no? You have hypoxy, hypoxia. Remember, uh, ato ang naistoryahan ganiha, niya, your dithionite, no? Imuhang reagents, imuhang reduction. So, what happens in your hemoglobin M? Instead of the ferrous na state imuhang iron, it's now in a ferric compound. This ferric na compound rather in a ferric state is unable to bind to your oxygen. That's why hypoxic ka na kay cyanosis, no? Kay dili niya ma bind ang oxygen. So methemoglobin causes the specimen blood specimens to be brown. Heinz body may be sometimes seen. Because methemoglobin causes globin chains to precipitate. And you know, Heinz bodies ni mo. Not cool, no? So now we're in the thalassemias na, no? So thalassemias is a quantitative defect of hemoglobin, no? Decreased production of globin components in the hemoglobin structure. So na kay genetic disorder. So you won't be making your beta globin. No, in your the case of your beta thalassemia, we can also have alpha thalassemia, no, and beta thalassemia. So overall, reduced ang imuhang hemoglobin. Kay wala man ka nagabuhat o beta globin. We'll talk about that in a while, no. The normal hemoglobin molecule is a tetramer of two alpha-like chains E or Z and two beta-like chains, no. So kato, combinations of this chain produce six normal hemoglobins. There are three embryonic hemoglobins, no? So, remember, remember ha, mong A, sa so, imong A, A-like na hemoglobin na kay zeta o alpha, no? Nya, pag abot sa imuhang B-like na kay gamma epsilon Delta O B. No? So, in your, um, ang embryonic ni mo, of course, ang first din mo gawas is the zeta. No? And then, this is your the zeta, zeta gamma first na siya. That's gonna be your Portland hemoglobin. I'm gonna give you a sequence of events, no? Then, it's gonna be your Zeta, Epsilon, 
no that's gonna be your goer one then mahita na na siya alpha epsilon that's gonna be your your ano your your goer two and then your alpha gamma na puna siya balik that's gonna be your fetal no hemoglobin and then it's gonna be your alpha beta and then the, uh, another type of adult is your alpha delta no so mao na yung pattern ha na si pattern so zeta gamma sa no? so your portland and then zeta epsilon then alpha epsilon and then alpha gamma then alpha beta or alpha delta then paru paru g no so alpha ko kaksunod no so mao na siyang <laughs> So, mora siya, no? So, these are just different types of hemoglobins, no? Thalassemias are a group of heterogeneous disorders which are, which, in which one or more hemoglobin chains are reduced or absent, no? So, because mubo ilang production of hemoglobin, of course, they're gonna make microcytic and hypochromic na mga RBCs. So, we have categories of thalassemia. We have, of course, we have, um... This is the genetic designations of thalassemias. In a, in your uh, so normally na type B, this is the normal and AA. So normal amount of beta globin ang B lang. And AA is normal amount of alpha chain. No? So pag B0 meaning wala ka tanang gene sa beta globin mo. So wala kay beta na na chain. So, ang imong ma-produce lang kay alpha gamma o alpha delta. Unya, effective na, eh, effective din eh, na sila maghatag o oxygen. Of course not. So, that's why, grabe, severe ka ni siya na thalassemia. So, this is one of your major thalassemias. And then, your beta plus, no? Decreased beta chain production, varying from 5 to 30. And then your beta silent, no, mildly decreased. And then your alpha, I uh, delta beta. So there is gene deletional of that results in no delta or beta, and some increased. So, like pag din is a beta zero ni mo over here, di ba na kay choice between al um beta delta and be uh sorry alpha delta and alpha gamma, no. Pag abot din yung a b zero ni mo. Alpha gamma lang imong i-produce no then we have also your AB lipore of course maghimo kag hemoglobin lipore no so hereditary persistence of fetal hemoglobin so alpha 0 no remember pag once mo sipa na ka sa alpha na problema daga na kay kag problema na kay what are your two uh, what are the two types of uh, a alpha like um chains there's only two lang man good zeta and your alpha Pag dili ka makabuhat buhi og alpha, remember your zeta is only effective, no? It's an effective component of your hemoglobin in your kanang fetal pa na, no? Fetal pa siya na state. Once you go into adulthood, your zeta globin cannot help, no? It's really not very effective delivering oxygen, no? In the adult body. So that's why delikado kaya na siya ang, ang alpha thalassemia. Especially if it's major. Thank you, Lord, na daghan gibuhat si four kakapis ang imuhang alpha chain. So, you can have either. Ano. So, alpha zero is this deletion of alpha globin genes on one chromosome. So, haplotype um, blank, blank results in no alpha production. So, deletion of ang alpha plus, deletion of alpha globin gene in one chromosome, decreased lang, and T. So, talas, ang buta ng T. So, mutation lang, walay deletion, but ang overall is a decrease in the chain production. So, in the silent slash carrier state, no, be silent, blood picture is completely normal. In beta thalassemia minor or trait, um, there is one B globin gene mutation and a slight reduction in B. So it results in the mild asymptomatic microcytic and hypochromic anemia. So my point is the more the more deletions, mas severe ang imuhang anemia when it comes to thalassemia. No? 
So these are one of the uh, these are the types of pathophysiologies that we can have in your thalassemia. There might be reduced or absent transcription of the messenger, uh, the mRNA. You no, know? so in so sakto lang goods lang goods lang yung DNA. Ma problema ni mo yung mohang mRNA. Why 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 claro? No, so ending ana reduced lang yapo ng production of hemoglobin. No, you can also have mRNA processing errors. No. So, yung sakto lang yung mRNA, pero pag-process na niya, huwag yan po'y klaro, instead na nagdagan siya mga mali-mali na gibuhat, hindi nga na mubo, yan po niya mga hemoglobin. And then, there might be translational errors, no? So, this transla translational errors, so, pwede na niya mga frame shift, frame shift mutation, pag nakay deletion, substitute, no? So, mali-mali ilang amino acids na ma-produce, no? So there are many ano and then finally there might be deletion of one and more globin genes no meaning wala jud kay gene no so from the process from the central dogma ni mo DNA RNA to protein so if if there is anything wrong there from the transcription translation no um it's going to end up with a decreased hemoglobin production because of the poor um, synthesis of your beta globin. No, so the mechanisms in beta thalassemia. So there's gonna be unpaired excess alpha chains. Kaya wala may mudikit sa, ay wala siya dikitan because there's no beta chains, no. And they precipitate in developing erythroid precursors, forming inclusion bodies. This cause oxidative stress and cellular mem membranes. This one, no. Mao na siya. Nagan ka og mga alpha chain na precipitate kiss me the premature death of erythroid precursors in the bone marrow is called ineffective erythroposis kay dagan ka siya na build up na alpha chains no napuno na siya and then it cannot process properly because the alpha chains just are dead weight no so the zombra kadagan sa alpha chains dili siya maka move on sa yung life mag apoptosis na lang siya so mauto mubo lang Overall, mubo gihang ang sa erythropoiesis na may tabo. Cells that are released in the periphery are laden with inclusion bodies if mapagawas man sila sa bone marrow and are rapidly sequestered and destroyed by the macrophages. No? Due to the poor hematopoiesis and hemolysis, increased EPO production is done, leading to increased medullary hematopoiesis, thus, thus leading to facies. So, kani interesting ni na. So, tungod kay hinay kay ka mo produce, kung na kay thalassemia, hinay kay ka mo produce ang RBCs, may tabuan na mo bumba yung muhang kidneys of erythropoietin. May tabuan na, what happens is your medullary, um, the medulla of your bone, it expands in order to, ano, they're trying to increase their output na lang, bahala na, batal ilahang mga ginagawas. They're trying to increase their output. That's why your bones get wider, especially in the bones of the face, faces of children who have thalassemia. That's why daku ilahang mga maxilla, no, and ilang forehead medyo sharp po, no. So, um, a misnomer is they have this facies, no, facies lahi ilahang naum. Um, in the olden books that I have read, no, and eh, what they call is they have like chimpanzee-like facies, no, because they have these ridges over here. It's because of the increased EPO and the the pushing of the the ano ba, they are the kidney is trying to do its best to stimulate the bone marrow to produce more RBCs, no. So the mechanisms in your alpha thalassemia, no. So kani different na pud niya. So your beta thalassemia, there is a chance that you will survive up to adulthood especially if it's just mild it's beta thalassemia minor no it's not major no? so um what will happen nakoy kail actually uh, um we were both reviewing the same review center in manila for the medical board uh physician's licensure exam no? and he, he passed would be even though he's he has thalassemia but i think he has some milder one no so Patients with beta thalassemia tend to have a better prognosis than patients with ha with alpha thalassemia, no. Especially if it's one of the worst, no. Tang mga unsa. So in the fetus and newborn, decreased production of alpha chains 
causes an increase of your G chains, no? So, what will happen, di ba, gamma? Di ba, alpha gamma man ang, ano, fetal na hemoglobin? Pag wala kay alpha jod, gamma lang na sila tanan. And that, uh, and that gamma, gamma na tetramer, is what we call your hemoglobin BART, no? So, the excess beta chains are relatively stable and form, ano, tetramers called hemoglobin, hemoglobin H, the hemoglobin H. Ay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Gamma tetramers called hemoglobin BART, no? Hemoglobin BART. So, and then, if you're gonna, ano na, if mag trans, trans, ano na siya, transform na siya from gamma to beta, so, the tetramers of your beta chains, kay, since wala lagi kay alpha, alpha globin, it will co coalesce to become your, to become your hemoglobin H, no? Hemoglobin BART and hemoglobin H cannot deliver oxygen to tissues, especially pag naanak na siya. So, the fetus cannot survive with only hemoglobin BART, no? Kaya na-delete man imuhang four alpha globin genes, no? So, what will happen is there's gonna be marked tissue hy hypoxia and heart failure. And then massive edema, that's why we call hydrops fetalis, no? Before, the old name for this, no? Is BART's hydrop fetalis, no? Oh, na ba BART's hydrops fetalis, no? So, be even though na siya yung mga RBC, it's still very, it's un incapable of delivering the oxygen to the tissues, no? So, this is the pathophysiology of your um, thalassemia. So, this is the pathophysiology of your beta thalassemia. No? So, your alpha gene, this is your central dogma. Alpha gene, mahimo mRNA, mahimo siya og four copies of your alpha globin. No? Beta gene, madikisi mong mRNA, madikisi mong beta globin. Beta globin. No? So, na 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 mahimong alpha alpha 2, beta 2. Kaya decreased lang man siya, na pa may nabili na beta globin. Ang uban, magtapok lang tong alpha globin. No? So, this precipitates into your alpha globin. So, may may inclusion bodies. So, this um, RBCs with inclusion bodies, they will have membrane damage and they will eventually be killed. No? No? And then, if they survive, they will carry plenty inclusions and of course pag makita na siya sa spleen the spleen doesn't like RBCs that aren't perfect so patcho na siya spleen mo eventually you have splenomegaly hyperspinism and then increased bilirubin so that's what sometimes patients with beta thalassemia have jaundice gallstones and leg ulcers no kaning leg ulcers ni is due to the increased bilirubin and of course the increased bilirubin and then sapok na kay imuhang blood then there's gonna have poor circulation there's gonna be poor circulation in the ano oh poor circulation poor circulation in the lower extremities that's why you're gonna have leg ulcers no so here so the decrease in hemoglobin alpha because a to b2 is your hemoglobin alpha there will be a decrease in um, hemoglobin and hypochromia, massive decrease in mature RBC production and shortened RBC survival. Then we'll, there will be profound anemia. So what is this high output heart failure? May tabo mang na, no, since hypoxic kayo ka, your heart knows that you're hypoxic. So what will happen? He will The heart will try to compensate. So it, it will increase your heart rate not only your heart rate but its stroke volume it will increase the output no na iyang gina pump so that the the remaining um functional blood cells will circulate faster in the body they will get more oxygen and then they will spread it more but it is not enough no you are still hypoxic and there is still poor o2 saturation in your legs and other areas no that's why na kay luspad ka onya dili ka mag grow properly because you're not you don't have lots of oxygen then you have tissue hypoxia erythropoiet in your release by kidney this is what we talked about earlier na bony deformities fracture massive expansion of the bone marrow no so there will be increased gastrointestinal iron absorption grabe po di mo ang sige ka uh, your 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 GI tract thinks that 
kulang ka og iron kay wala ka nakaproduce og hemoglobin. Well, in fact, dagana kay kag iron di lang siya ma-incorporate into your hemoglobin because wala lagi kay hemoglobin to to be incorporated in. So what will happen? You will have lots of iron deposition, no? So you're gonna have hemochromatosis, which might lead to cirrhosis, endocrine dysfunction, and cardiomyopathy, no? So kato beta thalassemia is divided into four categories based on manifestation. So silent carrier, thalassemia minor, thalassemia major, and thalassemia intermedia. Very self-explanatory, no? <laughs> So, kane? Your sal thalassemia may major, no? Pag B0, B0, wala sila tanan, no? So, ang isa B0 lang, ang isa na ay abnorm ab ab na abnormality, so decrease gihapon imong hemoglobin A, and then variable, um, increase imong hemoglobin F. Now, remember, remember, that if wala kay beta na globin, your gamma will try to take its place. But remember, your gamma is still a fetal type of hemoglobin. So, weak lang gihapo na siya, no? So, kato, dito lang, din ako mag, mag base sa uh, major kay more obvious mo kaya siya. So, in untreated beta thalassemia major, the hemoglobin level is below 7 but can fall as low as 2 to 4. Luyaka na ni mo, na, na na na. No, so the peripheral blood shows marked microcytosis, hypochromia, and isocytosis, poikilocytosis, including including target cells, teardrop cells, and elliptocytes. No, nucleated red blood cells might be observed. Inclusions are commonly found, including bisophilic stippling, Howell Jaribaldi, Spottenheimer. So in contrast to beta thalassemia, in which point mutations are both Beta, beta gene, beta globin gene are the most common type of mutation. In alpha thalassemia, large, ha, remember ha, point mutation ng beta, deletions jud ang alpha, no? So, non-deletional mutations also occur but are uncommon. So, we have four clinical syndromes by your alpha. We have your silent, your minor, and HBH. Kanini mo mga severe na? Kanini sila sure bull dead jud ka ani, no? So, same with that child ganiha. It's because it's very hard to live without your alpha. Because walay mag, there is no substitute for your alpha. In your beta, although it's a very inefficient substitute, at least there is. No? So HBH is characterized by a mild to moderate chronic hemolytic, hemolytic anemia with hemoglobin concentrations. Hemoglobin concentrations averaging to 7 to 10 uh, 7 to 10 DL Mabuhi dahi ko sa HBH Sorry, sorry Sa hemoglobin barts lang dahi itong grabe kayo In homozygous A0 no Hemoglobin barts It results in absence of all chain production And usually results in death in utero or, utero or shortly after birth Although sm small numbers survive with aggressive transfusion So sige lang ka transfuse Pulihan ang limong dugo it is included in the transfusion-dependent thalassemia because if the neonate survives, whole life ni mo kailang ka mag-transfuse, no? Because your RBCs cannot be, this is the um, hemoglobin Bart's na picture, no? It's very hardcore, no? So, in the clinical examination, mabuhi dahi ka sa, sa sorry guys, ah, mabuhi dahi ka sa hemoglobin H. Sa Bart's dahi ang hardcore kayo. Sorry, sorry. In the clinical examination, findings that suggest thalassemia include pallor due to anemia, jaundice due to hemolysis, splenomegaly, RBCs, abnormal uh, RBCs due to extravascular hemolysis, no? because of the inclusion bodies, paakon sila sa spleen. No? Some extramedullary erythropoiesis and skeletal deformities are due to the expansion of the bone marrow. So, in hemoglobin H, alpha thalassemia minor, and silent carrier A thalassemia, BCB, brilliant crystal blue, or methylene blue, new methylene blue stain, might be used to induce denaturation, eye precipitation of intrinsically unstable H uh, HBH. Hemoglobin H inclusions typically appear small blue, marsha, golf ball, hemoglobin H na siya. So, nabuhi na siya. 
Brilliant Crescent Blue or New Methylene Blue, ha? So, tani, thalassemia. Of course, definitive diagnosis na to. Since genetic man yun siya na problema, we're gonna need to do genetic test as the gold standard, no? So, presumptive, of course, SVT. Thank you! Thank you very much, no? So, I hope na aram mo'y natunan. Kung na may questions, feel free to ask. And, amping mo sige. Bye-bye. God bless, guys.